Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Um, so we're just gonna do a pretty chill no buy update today just so you guys can kind of hear um, our thoughts for about a month and a half in. <laughs> well, it's close to two months now. Close to two months in our year long no buy. You and cats. <laughs> anyway, a chill no buy video, uh, no buy update video just so you guys can kind of hear our thoughts um, about two months in to the year-long no buy. So I know we're just starting, but I think it'll be nice to do check-ins along the way, kind of talk you guys through our thought process, how we're feeling, etc. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So I will say I'm shocked by this point. I still haven't had like a massive urge to buy anything. Like there have been items that'll be like, ooh, I want that. But like, that's it. But nothing is like, I haven't, I haven't been on like the Ulta and Sephora like apps a lot, like mm -hmm. checking to see what's new. And I did today for the first time since the Nova started. I have done like a couple of times, but not. I used to do that shit like every day. <laughs> yeah, like multiple what's times. What's new? Like, yeah, what's going on? Um, I haven't had that urge. Um, I haven't had really any urge. I feel and and I guess maybe that's just because makeup right now is just like a functional thing. Like it's mm -hmm. less of a creative thing right now. And we're finally free. I'm, I can finally wear lipstick again. So hopefully this will like open up my creative juices, thingies, you know, uh, so that I can like get ready again, you know, instead of just like slap on an eye look and a little bit of bronzer and call it a day. Um, but I can finally wear lipstick again at work. So and, like more coverage if you wanted to. Like, yeah, now I can wear foundation. Like, like, you know, I can do like the whole nine if I want to. So maybe that will start happening. I'm not quite sure yet because I'm tired all the time, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah. nice to have that window open. So I might start working on like going through a few lip products I'm thinking, mm -hmm. but like so far I've just been like inspired to like pull things from our collection and like try new techniques and new like styles, not not like new makeup, you know? Like yeah. there are definitely things that have tempted me, but not even close to the point to where I'm like, I would go buy it. I'm yeah. going to buy this. I've just had things where I'm like, ooh, that's, that's pretty. pretty. Yeah. I would love to have that in my hands, but that's like the extent of it. Yeah, I feel like I, I've i been kind of wanting to buy clothing, um, but I've been wanting to spend money for sure. But I think that also has to do with, I need to figure out if my clothing urge um, is going to go away with when whenever I change my hair color. Um, because I love, mm, when I tell you guys, I'm really, really, really not looking forward to getting rid of the dark hair. I'm really not. Um, although I guess I haven't looked in the mirror, so it might not look very good today. Um, <laughs> but um, I just, I like the dark hair so much and I feel like it's kind of um, pushed me to explore new things in a sense where it's like okay generally i wear what green and blue eyeshadow right all right well my hair you i don't have to match it to anything and i know you don't technically have to do that but like vic's hair like let me guess what colors you're gravitating towards right now for eyeshadow neutrals neutrals probably with purples and pinks. Well, I know? mean the only colors i the only time i've done my makeup with color was with purple and pink but that was for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I just find that I get stuck in a rut and I generally like blue or green hair on myself when it comes to bright dyes. Um, I do like pinks and purples, but even when I do that with my hair, I don't feel like it makes me gravitate towards those eyeshadow colors. But it's also a really good thing to know about myself because when I see like all the Valentine's Day releases, like I know about myself. I have about 2,000 pinks and I wear them like once every once year. Yeah, well, I mean, every few months yeah. generally. Um, I just don't use pink very often and so like I've recognized that and I'm liking that but my hair being dark has just made my love for black clothing <laughs> all the stronger and so all I want are just like new black tops and like more like I bought a pair a couple pairs of jeans on ThreadUp um, a few months back because I just felt like we needed some new jeans and they fit both of us 
perfect swimming perfectly they're from american eagle one of them is like a, a dark gray kind of denim wash and um the one thing about american eagle is they really do make jeans for my body type which is ultra thin and ultra tall ultra flat on the booty. ultra flat ass yeah so like i bought those and i love to pair those with black tops and i love to pair like my mom jeans with black tops but i do love like the kind of early 2000s like acid washed jeans you know what i mean mm -hmm. like that whatever so anyway i've just been gravitating more towards a like a black and gray kind of wardrobe of course i'm wearing a green sweater today but um and so for that reason it makes me want to like kind of like revamp my clothes so i have been going through them um we have like gotten rid of quite a bit um but honestly the urge to buy not it, it hasn't been makeup the only urge i've had is clothes i bought really not much personally um i just bought like a handful of things less than 100 bucks but um it was just like necklaces and then like a new necklace holder because i'm out of space um or like chokers specifically um and a couple like nail things that i didn't need but i've been using a lot and so the ones that i have are low you know what i mean um so i haven't spent much but i definitely definitely was craving a to spend a lot i did actually it was with my points um but i needed it i guess needs a strong word but i needed another brow thing because all of our brow products pretty much are meant for dirty brown dirty brown dirty, dirty blonde, blonde um or blonde hair mm -hmm. and uh well my hair is clearly not that color so i bought the elf bite size brow palette i used it today um i don't really know what do you do with the waxes do you use just a brush or a spoolie? Because nothing happened with the waxes. So maybe I'm supposed to I think to they're supposed to, I think if you, did you layer the powder over the wax? Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's just supposed to make it grip better. Mm. Well, I'm gonna have to look into that. But I wanted to see if it was any good because it was three bucks and I just needed a new sunscreen. So that's why I was placing an Ulta order. Um, so I figured I would just pick it up um, instead of like a brow pen or a brow pencil or something more expensive. Um, just to try this out because if I have to get rid of it or pass it along, I won't feel guilty about the fact mm -hmm. that I got it. Um, but yeah, the urge to spend has been okay. It's been okay. It's tempted. I feel like just this last week, it's kind of ramped up in me, not in makeup specifically, but just the urge to spend in general, mainly because I'm like, I'm desperate for a change in my appearance right now. And I dyed my hair and that wasn't enough. And so now I have to grow out my bangs, but I look hideous like this because my hair has bangs that are really that short. Cute. Oh, I hate this. It's like this, this is like the worst stage of growing out bangs. I hate it so, so much. I can never style my hair the way I want to. And so, well, I, granted this is the first day I'm doing this and I'm hormonal as hell. So. Did you start your period? Yes. Nice. I still haven't started mine. Oh, no, I started it earlier. No, I started on Monday, I think. I don't know. Anyway, work's been hell too. So it's like every time all of my, every time my mental health starts to crash a little bit, that urge to buy just spikes back up. But yep. I have been wanting to buy clothes because I feel like half the stuff I own right now is not my style or it doesn't fit me well. Or it's like 10,000 years old. Yeah. So I'm probably going to go through my closet again and like, just like get some things out of the Heavy way. duty. Get I just out. want some like staple solid colored tops i when i tell you you like know what we're missing nice fitting solid colored top we are missing a medium to low scoop neck black long sleeve t-shirt that's what we need that's what i need in my life i look bad in scoop necks so <gasps> i'm not going to no you do around. not i love a scoop neck there's no no a bad scoop neck is a scoop neck here all right a lower cut scoop neck is way cute i like a turtleneck you know I do too, but a low cut scoop neck really does it for me, you know? Yeah, I don't know. And I've been like, oh man, I've just been wanting to like get stuff done mainly. Like it's, it's just like, it's almost like makeup has even more so fallen to the back burner mm -hmm. since starting the no buy because I'm not constantly buying it, constantly <laughs> buying it. And I've taken a step back from YouTube and like Instagram half the time and like anything beauty related because I don't want anything to like kick my ass and make me buy. Mm -hmm. So, but we have gotten like a lot of growth. 
a um, lot of growth and like some, some email cool PR inquiries. <laughs> so we should be getting BT jobs. We should if this video is up. I don't know what time this video is. I put us I put a something up about the salt tint already. Okay, so we are getting the salt tints. We're getting the smoky nostalgia nostalgia <laughs> collection from Kaleidos and then something from Revlon. A mailer. <laughs> uh, a PR mailer? So I'll, I don't know. I'm saying, Rev baby, if you're watching this, the cream shadows, we could just use a few more to we just shove those in there. Toss them in. It's so funny because I feel like Revlon like fell off the wagon and then like came back on sort of. Yeah, have some really, shadow palettes that kind of tempt me. You know yeah. those ones I'm talking about. I know people really liked the Megan Thee Stallion collection, but mm -hmm. I just wasn't sure if that was because they liked Megan Thee Stallion or yeah, or if it's because Revlon. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure, but um, yeah, that'll be cool. Neat to try stuff out again, especially from what I would consider like a pretty like cult classic kind of brand, mm -hmm. although they aren't like super used in the YouTube yeah. space, but like. I'm sure that they're really Candid big foundation was my yeah. ride or fucking die a couple of years ago. So, so many good things about this glow. concealer. The Candid Concealer. Yeah, I've heard incredible things. I know Miss L loves it. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely glad that the urge to buy has been okay. But in the same regard, I have bought some non-beauty related things, but nothing I'm mad about. So, like, um, so, like, if you can see, I don't remember when this went up. My walls are green now. Um, I painted my entire room. If you didn't know this, my room is really big. It's really big. Because uh, it's not a bedroom. This it's not, was like it's a, a living room. This was like a large this workout in the basement room. of our, or the downstairs of our house. We have a ranch. But it, yeah, this was like a workout room. We do not room. have a ranch. Oh, not a ranch. It's you a split, split you know level entry. Saying. Whatever you call it. Whatever that fucking thing. I just knew it wasn't what, baby? technically a two story. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, it's all downstairs. This room is freaking huge. It's like our filming area. It's her bedroom and it's also her work area. Yeah. And there's plenty of space. So, and it was like dark gray dungeon. Here's color. Raisin. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> it definitely livens up the room. But she got like some flowers and stuff. We went to Michael's. Yeah. So I put together like flower pots and like I've got them all along my wall. I also got some posters from Walgreens. So I've got one of Vic and I, like a big photo of Vic and I that I really like. Um, one of all the cats with a little meme of this crying dude. And then um, like a big poster of Charlotte and I um, for the pictures we got done for her third birthday. In which my hair looked horrible that day. That, that sucked. But outside of that, I love those pictures. No, they're so cute. Um, and so I've been kind of just like revamping my space. Trying to make it a little bit happier. Because honestly, like I like mentioned it on YouTube a couple of times. Because it was happening at the time. But um, I went through a breakup recently. And then fell off the wagon, and it was no longer a breakup. Um, and then re got back on the breakup wagon, and it's just been like an endeavor mentally. It's been kind of draining, um, but I'm sure it was expected. I'm sure it was expected. It's been happening for many for years. many years. <laughs> but um, so that was like really draining, and so I've been kind of just trying to like make everything mine again because this was our room, and. I, I wasn't, not that I wasn't allowed, of course I could do anything I wanted, but like, he didn't want bright walls, he wanted gray walls, he didn't want bright bedding, he wanted blue bedding, like, or like, navy bedding, or like, earth tones, and like, things that are not me, things mm. that are not me, and it, in my room at my parents' house, I had bright blue walls, I had teal walls, and I loved them so much, and so I'm, I'm trying to under, or trying to like, digest the fact that like, this is our house that we purchased with our money which means we can do whatever the fuck which we means want. if we want bright green walls it we can have bright green walls nobody else is in charge <laughs> yeah and it's so it's so weird to like give yourself that permission but i found that like revamping my space has been like it's been doing wonders for me because i just feel so much more inspired when i walk into my bedroom like i don't feel like I'm going back to the fucking prison cell. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to repaint my room and then get a new, like, get new bedding mm -hmm. really bad. I've been wanting to do this for a while though, like probably the last year. <laughs> since yeah, we, like since we moved in. On a new dryer now. Yeah, our freaking handle. <laughs> I was gonna see actually, I was gonna look it up and see if we could buy stackable ones like mom and dad and see how much it would be. Washer and dryer. Yeah, they don't make washer and dryers like they used to, so that's why I don't want to get that. That's them. true. It'll break in like five minutes. Anyway, our freaking 
dryer handle snapped off the other day, nearly killed me and nearly took off my hand. I was like, fuck! <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna open the door now? So I had to like cram my finger in and like. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I think it would be really dope if we re if we renovated and did a whole freaking room dedicated to laundry. Like, well, I was three wondering washers could... and dryers, <sighs> freaking. I was wondering baskets if we could, on the wall. I was like, wondering if we could knock out that middle wall between those two between the bathroom and the laundry room and make it one big bathroom laundry room area and we could probably put in a shower that way. We but I don't know could, but how like where that but I stuff would fit. But I think with the washer and it's the washer and dryer that's the issue because all the pipes are back there. That's what I was wondering. I'm pretty sure we can't knock it out. Whatever. We'll find out. This is hardly a no way update video. We haven't bought makeup except for that freaking elf palette and then Makeup that's been received, which we didn't buy. So we, we haven't received makeup. anything yet, but there looks oh, 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 um Oh yes, Odin's eye. Who else reached out? Merit? Merit Beauty. Yeah, but I haven't seen any updates on that. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah. I don't know if we're getting anything from Merit, but if but Merit Beauty did I'll be send hiding. us information, and I put in our personal information, for sure. Yeah. For a PR order. So, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. But I mean, yeah, it's just, I don't know, life's been weird. Um, we will kind of have to see how it goes and um our life's gonna get pretty hectic around april um <laughs> we're gonna have a baby in the house i'm don't get me wrong i'm very excited to meet this baby <laughs> oh i'm so hyped i'm, I'm just thinking for the Lee. she just got Liv just got her 3d ultrasound done today this baby is so cute so, so cute. cute. Oh my she's God. got some plushy little lips oh yeah she's got some big lips she looks Oh, that's pain. <laughs> oh God. No, she, she's so cute. I can't wait to see her in person. I can't wait. But like, I was reminiscing on when I was pregnant and I went and got my 3D ultrasound done and I couldn't see Charlotte because she was like smushed against my belly. And I cried my eyes out. And then I went into labor like two days later. <laughs> so it worked out. So yeah. Sad. I don't know. Life's going to get kind of hectic. I'm waiting to hear back. I should hear back by tomorrow. On your promotion yeah and I'm just like I'm telling you like I'm desperate desperate to change my job role I'm desperate to like I just I lead a lot of trainings in my current role which was not what I was hired to do but is what I have now been assigned to do assigned and to do um am I good at it fuck yeah I'm good at everything I do um do I enjoy it not even a crumb not a bit. Um, I can't tell you the amount of times I've been talking shit about a training class with one of my managers. I'd be like, oh my god, this person is like driving me up a wall. And I'll find, I'll present my screen and the Skype chat will pop up on the, on my presented screen. And I'm like, I'm so sorry if anybody saw that. I was just talking shit. <laughs> like, uh, um, can't believe HR hasn't been called yet. But that doesn't happen that often. This just happened a couple of times. But like, ah, I just, I really don't like training and we have a really big one coming up at the end of this month and I'm just doing everything in my power to avoid it. Guess how many people are in this training class? 30. No, but 16. Ooh. And the, hot, the, the largest training class I've had since the pandemic started is five people. Really? Five people. Holy cow. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that would suck. 16's a lot. So somebody else do it. Please God, somebody else do it. Ugh, it's a lot of stress for me, but I'm getting another tattoo um, in mid-March. So I'm pretty hyped about that. And then um, we're getting twin tattoos Easter. on Easter. Yeah, we're gonna get hand, like butterfly hand tattoos that we can um, match with. I really want to get like our twin tutorials logo, like tattooed here or something. Like just something to remember it by yeah. <laughs> in case it ever goes by the wayside yeah i don't i don't know that it ever like will be fully fully yeah. like go away but i just think that that would be a fun memory to have on tattooed on me and i just i love a good needle in the arm so yeah. you know sign me up mm -hmm. yeah it's so frustrating though i feel like every time i finally get in a good place with doing youtube again it, i like fall right off fall right back yeah, I mean, so we're gonna try and film again this week. <laughs> I think the reality is what we need to do is we need to set, set aside time um, Yeah, a strict filming schedule and then maybe like instead of watching TV We spend we peruse one night YouTube. a week 
to watch makeup YouTube videos like we used to because we loved it so much. Like we used to spend almost every night sitting there watching makeup videos together. Like, yeah. We would just binge and binge and eat the content and you I do just- do if you want it. Unless you're going to sleep early, in which case that's fine too. No, I probably won't. Okay. In, in theory, I'll be going to sleep early. I went on a date um, and I did not get home until quite, quite late. I go to bed generally 11, all right? I'd be lying if I said I generally go to bed earlier. 11, sometimes 10.30, sometimes 10.15, but generally 11. I didn't get home till midnight last night. I looked at the time, I said, it's 11.30? He said, yeah, I didn't notice that either. I said, I'm going home, man. I work at seven tomorrow. Like, don't hold me hostage here. I got to go. Um, so I was up really late last night, so I'm a little like out of it, but. What else? So. I'm just thrilled that tomorrow's Friday, man. Oh, dude, I'm so hyped that the end of the week is soon. That means that it's almost Sunday, which means another euphoric episode. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. oh my god. I don't. People are talking about how fucking genius HBO Max is as a streaming service um, for allowing um, weekly, weekly episodes because they're like, how many shows have you seen get this much hype? No, it's because we have to Every. wait. It's because, because we, we have, have to wait. wait. So the reality is, like, if we did that with other TV shows, like, we would be so addicted. Like, <laughs> okay, well, following that logic, though, then why aren't our YouTube videos growing? <laughs> growing. Y'all have to wait. All the views are me. <laughs> no, but the Nova is going well and strong. And I've been... I, I watch a lot of Hannah Louise posting. If I'm watching YouTube, it's generally her or Lauren May Beauty these days. And she was talking about a technique that's been around for ages, but I've never personally done it, where you like saturate a fluffy brush in water and you dip it into a, a shimmery eyeshadow. I did and it's like watercolor painting that. on your eyeballs. And I want to do it. Grab that magnetic palette with the. Do you want to do it with the looksy shadows? I want to do it with this specific shadow from Looksy. I used that called. The other day. It's so pretty. Crimson Rose. This color is like this, it reminds me of the Pat McGrath Divine Rose palette in like a lot of ways. It's just like the sexiest, like sort of, it's almost like a greenish purple. olive base, but it's like purple, a, it's like a rose gold. pink, rosy kind of color. Like here it is, like sheer off my hand. It's beautiful. And I think as a, as a watercolor shadow like that, I think this could be like the most, the moment she was like, I'm gonna saturate my brush in water, then I'm gonna dip it, and then I'm gonna put it in an eyeshadow. I was like, that shade from Luxie. <laughs> like I didn't know the color off the top of my head, but I was like, fuck, I need to do that with that color. ASAP Rocky. And I think it would look really good with some of the shimmers in the Rose Quartz palette from Huda too, so. I don't know, it might be fun to try with like a Kahuna shadow, but I'm a little scared of that. Um, or with like this olive. Oh my God, it would look so sexy with an olive, don't you think? I don't know. Oh, no, I don't it. think. You don't think a watercolor eye would look just so cool with this? Like a fucking. Not all the pukey brown. <gasps> no, with this color, like sheer down. Uh, whatever color. that base color is, I want it in a standard matte shadow. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Love, 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 love. Yeah, I think these would be perfect. I think I might try that tomorrow. We'll see. Yeah, or this weekend. Um, I want to do a couple more, like, long winded, informative videos of certain eyeshadows certain brands certain whatever i just need to like find a layout for it and i think that will help me get re-inspired as well i think what we need to do is like actually because i mean who we are as people we're always going to do these long form chatty type videos i mean we're, we're just just not straight to the point people. no we're just not and and there's two of us we and, just like to talk and these are our personalities around. like we're not only talking to you guys, but we're talking to we're each other. So basically hanging out. With I each mean, other. it's like a conversation. And so I'm not gonna like, you know, try and like pinpoint everything I need to talk about. But I do think if I could set out like a game plan for each video and then set out, you know, like five, if I think of five video ideas every two weeks, mm -hmm. like, okay, great. That ha that gives us content and that gives us content that we can prep to film and that, that could be more interesting to you guys and all of that. So. I mean, really anything you want to see, tell us so we can kind of make that happen. I know, I hear you, Oracle, the Oracle of makeup, 
I hear you, commenter. We will get Cleona videos up. I promise you, it will happen. Someday. Be patient. Be patient. Go to Lauren Baby's channel if you need a, an, a, an instant fix. But um, we're slow and busy. <laughs> and also, every time I'll, I'll be like, tell us what you want to, what you want us to film. And somebody will give a request and I'll be like, but not that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't really feel like, like that. Doing that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I suppose we should probably begin to wrap up the video here. So um, I don't have much else to say. I haven't just... bought any earrings, by the way. Nice. Not, not. I haven't bought a single item for myself that's not like groceries. Actually, you know, know what? I'm so pissed about this. I bought a necklace, okay? It's got two hoops interlooping. It was so cute, so cute. I felt like the way that you could tighten it was like perfect so I could do like a higher up necklace without mm -hmm. it being like a choker. And I could do like a lower down necklace. And I can't find it. And what I can almost promise you happened is one of two things. Because I watch Leo do this with my necklaces every day. He got up on the counter. He shoved it in the toilet. And it fell down. So the next person that went didn't know and flushed it. Either that or he shoved it down the vent. One of the two. But it's missing and I know it's nowhere to be found. Yeah, so I now I have to buy it again. So now I have to buy it again because I literally just bought it and I love it so much. I've been wanting to get some rings recently. I I'm waiting until my fucked up thumb heels, which might take Oh, but you like gold, don't you? I like go gold. Goad. <laughs> well, I have a ton of rings. But I also there. don't know my ring size, so I might have to try those out. I want like big chunky ones. How does this one fit? I think this one's 6.5. Wait, is that the wrong finger? That depends on whatever finger you want to get a ring for. This one, definitely 6.5, is a little too tiny. I used it on my ring finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well it's too tight for my middle finger. Fits pretty well on my ring finger though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I want like really, not like, not chunky with like big like diamonds or anything like that. Not like gems, but like kind of like Just chunky earrings. band. No, like kind of like my earrings. Oh, like, just like fun stuff. Like, yeah. Clunky, gummy. Like clunky fun ones. Like gummy yeah. bears and you know that sort of thing. Like flowers and like mushrooms. Yeah. Butterflies. Yeah, they've got some really, really fun ones on Etsy. So we'll have, we can look through those. And... Yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to buy one anytime soon, but it's definitely been like on my radar. Like that could be fun for me. Although the most bizarre and sickening thing has been happening to me. Um, and I go through this a little bit. Um, but like, this is on a level that I'm not liking. So I've been like trying to gravitate towards a little bit less extra in certain departments. Um, so like, I mean, the only reason, like my nails are long, but they're not like long. Um, and I'm, I'm doing this more so in preparation for the fact that we're gonna have an infant here. And I know some people can handle infants with bad bitch claws, but like I scratched the fuck out of Charlotte a couple of times. And I don't wanna do that to well, to somebody else's baby. I don't want to do that to Charlotte either, of course. Um, I mean, and even now if we're playing, sometimes I'll end up scratching her with my nails. And I just don't want to do that with a kid in the house. So I'm trying to like get used to myself and shorter nails. Um, I can't wear these anymore. I hate my big chunky hoops now. I hate them. Why? I don't know. Without your nails? No, in general. Oh. I keep pulling these ones specifically. I cannot wear, but a lot of is my it, big ones, I just. Do you think it's just because your hair's short? I don't know, because I might like, sh like feel like too much now that your hair's short. Maybe, but I've been wearing like I've worn them since I cut my hair off like a ton of times. So That's I, true. I don't know if I'm just going through like a like a crisis, or what. But it's so frustrating. Anyway, we will not shut the fuck up. Anyway. Um, bye, bye. <sighs> we love you all. Thank you for watching.